Hi guys, another lesson tayo sa grade 7, math, quarter 2, module 3. So, ang module 3 natin is evaluation of algebraic expressions. So, paano tayo mag-evaluate ng algebraic expressions? In evaluating algebraic expressions, simply substitute or replace variables by numbers and carry out the operations following the order of operation. So, i-replace lang natin yung mga variables ng number. Pagkatapos i follow natin yung order of operation. So, ano yung order of operation? So, meron tayong PEMDAS. So, ang PEMDAS stands for parenthesis, exponent, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. So, ito yung dapat nating tandaan na order of operations. Dapat unahin natin yung mga naka-parenthesis, pagkatapos yung mga exponents, and then multi multiply and divide from left to right, and then add and subtract from left to right. Meron tayong example dito. Is 5y plus 4 is equal to 5y plus 4. So, equal ba ito silang dalawa? Paano natin malaman kung equal itong dalawang expression natin? So, doon napapasok ang ating evaluation of algebraic expression. So, paano natin siya i-evaluate? Again, mag-assign tayo ng number para ma-replace natin sa ating variable. And ang ating variable is y. So, ipagpalagay na natin na y is equal to 3. So ngayon, i-evaluate na natin siya para malaman natin kung um, equal ba itong dalawang expression natin. So 5y plus 4. So 5, si y i-replace natin ng 3. And then plus 4 is equal to 5, si y i-replace natin ng 3 plus 4. Okay, so i-carry out lang natin ang operation. So unahin natin ang multiplication. So 5 times 3. 5 times 3 equals 15 plus 4. Sa kabila, unahin natin ang nasa parenthesis. So, 3 plus 4, kopyahin natin si 5. 3 plus 4 equals 7. So, 15 plus 4 equals 19. And 5 times 7 equals 35. So, ayan. Equal ba silang dalawa? Of course, hindi. Kasi ang kabila is 19 at ang kabila is 35. So, therefore, ang ating given is not an equal algebraic expression. So, ganyan ang pag-evaluate -e ng algebraic expression. I-replace natin yung mga variable ng assigned number. Okay, another example tayo. I-evaluate natin itong 8x squared plus 3 when x has the value of 3. So, 8x squared. 8, ano yung value ng x natin? 3. So, i-replace natin si x ng 3. And then, plus 3. So, um, i-simplify muna natin itong naka-exponent. So, 8, 3, 3 squared is, means 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 3. And then, carry out natin yung operations. Again, unahin natin yung multiplication. So, 8 times 9 is equal to 72 plus 3. So, 72 plus 3 is equal to 75. So, ito na yung sagot natin, 75. Another example, c cubed minus 2b plus a. Ang value ni c is 3, si b is negative 5, and si a is negative 12. So, i-replace natin yung ating mga variables. So, c cubed minus 2b plus a. Okay, ano yung value ni c? 3. So, 3 cubed minus 2 Ano yung value ni B? Negative 5. So, ilagay natin siya sa parenthesis. Plus, ano yung value ni A? Negative 12. So, ilagay natin sa parenthesis kasi negative 12. And then, 3 cube is, this means, 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. Minus, negative 2 times negative 5 is equal to, magkapareho yung sign nila. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot is positive. So, positive. 2 times 5 equals 10. Positive and negative is negative. So, negative tayo dito. Kopyahin natin si 12. And then, i-carry out natin yung operation. So, 27 plus 10 is 37 minus 12. So, 37 minus 12 is equal to 25. So, ito na yung sagot natin. Last example tayo, we have here x plus 5 and 
uh, x plus 5 multiplied by y minus 4. So, ang x, ang value ng x natin is negative 2 and ang value ng y is 8. So, isimplify natin siya. Ang value ni x is negative 2. So, negative 2 plus 5 multiplied by y is 8 minus 4. Okay, simplify natin ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. And then, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Ayan. So, ngayon is, i-multiply na natin silang dalawa. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Ayan. So, ito na yung sagot natin. So, meron tayong um, explanation about kung paano tayo mag-add, mag-subtract, mag-multiply, at mag-divide ng integers. Napaka-importante po nun para alam natin yung mga integers natin about positive and negative, kung ano yung dapat na sagot natin kung positive ba o negative. So, pwede nyo po yung pan panuorin. Napaka-dali lang ng explanation para maintindihan nyo po ang lesson natin ito at para mas mabilis kayong makasagot sa lesson na ito. Okay, so that's all for today's video guys. Ang susunod natin is about addition and subtraction of polynomials naman.